Sometimes, even the best laid plans can go sideways. I wouldn't know because I don't usually make the best laid plans, but I make plans. But Houston, we have an issue that needs to be fixed. It doesn't work. You probably thought I was gonna say, Houston, we have a problem. But did you know that every time somebody says that, Tom Hanks gets a royalty payment? That's why he's so rich. Did you also know that Tom Hanks is the largest farmland owner in the United States, owning 99% of all farmland in the country? I know this because I read it on comments on a YouTube video, so I know that it's true. But I digress. We all know that YouTube comments are a great source of valuable, truthful, correct, factual information. But I did run into a little snag with the repeater setup, so let's talk about it. Roll that intro. We don't waste your time with intros here. So last week, right after I finished the previous video, which was part two, you can watch that video right there if you missed it. I got everything set up, roughed in, got the antenna up temporarily, configured the radios, plugged everything in, and there was a problem. I actually didn't trust myself that I had trimmed the antenna properly and I wanted to test it. The Tram 1486 antenna that I'm using is a UHF antenna. It's not a specific GMRS antenna. So it requires cutting and tuning and it's in three sections. It's a big antenna. It's five feet high and it's there's three sections that you have to take apart, measure each section and cut it to the exact proper length. And I've done that with my UHF antennas, my GMRS that I use for GMRS on the Jeeps and I destroy half of them. So I was a little nervous about cutting it. It's easy. You just have to read the instructions and measure correctly and cut correctly. For some reason I have a issue doing that. So I cut the antenna, put it all back together, put it up. First thing I wanted to do was check the SWR, make sure there were no dead shorts anywhere in my connections and make sure the antenna was cut and tuned properly. And I got a reading of uh, SWR of 19. 19 is not good. One is good. Two is bad. Three is don't use this radio. 19? So I assumed that I cut the antenna wrong or had a short. So I went through every connector, every everything between the antenna and the radio, but I was still getting that really high SWR. So I contacted support at buy2wayradios.com and they were really good at helping. You know, at buy2wayradios.com, when you contact support, you're not just getting some script monkey reading off a script. They're actual texts that know what they're doing. So when I say my SWR is high, they, they know what I'm actually talking about. They stepped me through everything to check, checked every connector, every patch cord. I hooked up different radios. I There was the duplexer. Remember now for the GMRS repeater, there's a duplexer in line. Took that in, took that out. What I ended up doing was testing from the radio, bypassing the duplexer, testing the antenna directly from the antenna to the radio. That SWR was 1.01. That's a good SWR. I was actually surprised that I cut it right because that's a near perfect SWR. What we narrowed down the problem to be was that duplexer. That duplexer, something wrong with that duplexer. And that duplexer that I'm using now is a loner duplexer. The XLT that I'm gonna be using is on back order. We've already talked about stuff on back order. Sometimes we have to wait, supply, demand, means I have to wait. So buy2wayradios.com sent me a loaner, one of their test ones. They had pre-configured and pre-tuned it for GMRS before they sent it out to me. So it was working when it left their doors. By the time it got to me, it didn't work. Duplexers are usually pretty rugged. These, the small type are pretty rugged, but if the UPS man throws it at my porch, like he usually does, or if they drop it out of the truck or something, it can get damaged. So apparently something has gone wrong with that duplexer. So buy2wayradios.com is sending me another loaner because those XLT duplexers are still on back order. But in the meantime, I wanna show you the configuration of how to set up the two KG-1000Gs to act as a repeater. It is so simple and easy. That's one of the things I love about the KG-1000Gs. They're so versatile, but they're also easy to use. So I'm gonna show you that real quick, how to set up two KG-1000Gs, the programming, and how to interface the two of them so that they work as a repeater. The KG-1000Gs, available only at buy 2 radioscom affiliate links below, are designed to be used together as a repeater. And that's how I'm, what I'm basing my repeater build on. And it's really easy to set up. 
This should be really quick to show you. The KG-1000G comes with the cable that you use to connect the two radios, so you don't have to buy anything extra. You just connect it to the PC programming plug on the side of the radio, like that, and then you connect to the other end to the other radio. This cable is like 20 feet long. I've only got one radio here that I'm going to show you, but the other end goes to the other radio in the same PC programming port. So I've got the KG-1000G and it's connected up to my Samlex uh, DC power supply, which is what I'll be using for the repeater build. It's off camera, so you can't see it. So trust me when it, I say it looks like a square box with some meters on it. So to program the KG-1000G to act as a repeater, it's really simple, just a couple of steps. So the first thing I wanna do is put on my old man glasses so I can see what I'm doing. First thing you need to do is set the frequency on each radio that you're gonna be using. You've got your transmit frequency and your receive frequency. My repeater is set to transmit at 465, 6000. In GMRS, the offsets are always plus five megahertz. So my receive frequency is gonna be 467, 6000. So first thing you wanna do is set the frequency. You go into VFO mode, which this already is, and you just turn the knob until you're at your receiving frequency. The next thing you do is enable the repeater function. So I'm just gonna hit menu and go up to where that option is. I think it's number 32, I could just hit 32. There we go, number 32 repeater set. So hit menu again, go up and down and select for my receiver, RPT receive. And then save it again by hitting the menu button. On the other radio, which would be my transmit radio, I would set it to RPT-TX or TWRPT, which is the transmit setting. And I would have the frequency on the other radio set to 462-6000. And really that's it. At that point, it's working as a repeater. You may be able to see the little two arrows there. That means it's in repeater mode. The only other thing I need to do is set a tone, which I decided to do. I talked about that in the previous video. That will prevent somebody from just keying up on this 467-6000 frequency and activating the repeater. So by putting a tone on it, anybody that wants to use this repeater needs to put that same tone in their radio for this frequency or this channel, which is repeater 17 or channel number 25. It depends on your radio. So by putting a tone on it, somebody just driving by randomly keying up on this channel won't activate my repeater. So to enter the tone, just go to menu again, go to the set tone option, which is I think 25 or 26. There's a couple of tone options here. So that's transmit tone. I wanna to put the receive tone on it because this is the receiver. So when it receives this tone, I want it to activate and start transmitting. So I'm gonna look for receive CTC. and hit menu and scroll through until I find the tone that I've decided on, which is 141.1, 141.3. These are all pre-configured tones. So I'm just choosing from the list, the one that I've chosen. 141.3, hit menu again. I now have my receive tone set on this radio, which is now going to be a repeater. So the screen shows my frequency, 467-6000. It's indicating that is the it is the repeater receiver. I've got my little arrows, two arrows pointing to each other, which means it's in repeater mode. Got my little C icon, which means it's got a CTCSS code, which I just set. Currently it's on high power. And for the receiver, this doesn't matter because the receiver is never going to transmit. It's the other radio, which will be set as the transmitter. And it's set here for RX, just another indicator there. That's pretty much all you need to do. Plug it into either two antennas mounted very far apart or a duplexer, preferably one that works. And you've got a repeater. So when the new duplexer gets here in just a day or two, I'm going to hook it up, do the final tests show you how that all works, and then we'll do some range testing, and we will have a working repeater. I will be a pillar of my community with my new free open to everybody repeater. I've probably missed something. 
or done something wrong as usual. So if you have questions, leave a comment below. Dickhead questions will be pinned to the top for everybody to enjoy and make fun of. You know, I used to pin them to the top and then reply to point out how stupid to the person that that person is so that if they didn't already know, I could make sure they knew how stupid they were. But lately, you guys, the regular viewers have been doing a good job of doing that for me. So I'm just gonna pin them to the top. I may or may not comment to point out to the person how stupid they are. Not just stupid, arrogant, know-it-all, answering questions that nobody asked. Whatever, it'll get pinned so we can all make fun of you. But if you've got questions, that aren't dickhead questions, leave the comment below. I'll do my best to answer. If I can't answer it, somebody else will. We've already talked about reading other people's comments on YouTube. I delete wrong comments. If I look at it and I know it's wrong, this is not a, so we've talked about this. This is not a soapbox for your stupidity. I will delete it. But if I'm not sure, I'll leave it there. Hopefully others will correct it. If I left anything out, or if you have suggestions, lessons learned by doing your own repeater build, I'm very open to that. I'm figuring this out as I go along leave them below. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the trip.